Hey guys, today we're gonna make this pretty cool Nike spinning carousel in Figma. We're gonna jump right into it. Look at this, watch. What? Oh yeah. First, I'm gonna go to Nike.com to grab a pair of shoes I wanna use. If you guys do this, uh, don't sell your files so that we don't get in trouble. So I'm gonna find a pair of shoes that are interesting. I'm gonna grab these guys. I want this picture. So I'm going to right click, save image as. Save it into my downloads. I'm gonna grab the next style of shoe. Right click, save image as. Save. Do this one too. I'm gonna get three pairs of shoes. You can use any ones you like. Remember, don't sell these files because this is just for learning purposes. I'm also gonna grab the Nike logo. Just Google Nike, go under images, and then save this. All right, once I have all my assets, I'm gonna go into Figma and I'm gonna start building this page out. So let's add a frame, F on your keyboard. Let's do a 1440 desktop. I'm gonna change the background to a purple color. I have my, my colors already in my file. So I'm gonna use those. So I'm going to change this fill to this light purple. I'm gonna put a circle on here real quick and fill this with another purple, the darker one. I'm gonna change my background here to purple. I'm gonna put another frame on it, so F on your keyboard. Pull out a frame, fill it with white. Let's round our corners to 10. Let's add a drop shadow. To make our drop shadow purple, a darker purple, pull the opacity down and then blur it. That looks good. I'm gonna pull this down and I'm gonna make my header section. And let's add our shoe. So I'm gonna go to my finder. If you're on a MacBook, there's a cool thing that came out if you grab your shoe, right click, go to quick actions and remove background. That will remove the background for us. If you're on a PC, you can go to Canva and remove the background, or I'm pretty sure Figma has a plugin to remove backgrounds, but I don't wanna set up the API key. So this will do for now. I'm gonna do this with all the shoes. Quick action, remove background. Another one, quick action, move in the background. All right, I'm gonna drop this shoe in here and I'm going to command drag my frame. So I have a smaller frame, just like that. I'm also gonna twist my frame a little, so rotate 26 degrees, let's right. Make sure your frame has clipping content off. And let's add a shadow under here. So I'm going to press the O on my keyboard for circle. Draw out a circle. Then I'm gonna go to my fill, change it to radial gradient. Change this to a purple. Change this to the same purple and drop the opacity to zero. That should give me a decent looking shadow. I can also drop this down to 80%. You can adjust the width. That looks about right. I'm gonna grab both of these. So the ellipse and my screenshot. And I'm gonna put them into a frame. So Option Command G puts them in a frame. I'm going to Command Drag my frame to meet up with the edge of the frame. 
and I'll tighten this frame up as well. All right, now that we have our frame set, let's add in some navigation at the top. So let's drop in our Nike logo. Shrink it down. Let's meet up with the edge of the frame there. And let's add some navigation. So T on the keyboard for type. And let's type in min. We'll change the font to Bass Noon. I think you can get this font on googlefonts.com. I'll put a link below. Press K to scale. And let's scale it up. All right, option drag to duplicate. Grab both of them. Shift A to put into an auto layout. Let's make this say win woman or woman. Command D to duplicate. Let's put kids. Duplicate again. Accessories. Duplicate one more time. And sales. All right. That looks good. Grab your frame. Let's name it nav. I'll also name this logo and pull it out of this frame put it up above your nav then let's go to icon duck and find a couple search icons so icon duck it's a plugin let's type for search or search for search grab your search icon let's look for a cart i like this one I'm going to turn this into a vector, so I'm going to grab a whole group, Command E to flatten it. This has a square on it. I want to delete this square underneath. Take the group and the vector, Command E to flatten it. All right, so this icon is 88.86 pixels high. I'm going to constrain the proportions and do the same with this. Grab both of them. And let's make the height 80. Shift A to put into an auto layout. And then put them up top. Okay, press K to scale down. Open up your auto layout. Grab your vectors. Let's make them 39. I think I actually want them to be smaller, so let's not do that let's do mm, 25. i think that looks better we're also going to scale the logo to be 25. i'm going to drag my ruler out i'm going to drag this one out as well let's name this icons we have our logo here and our navigation i'm actually going to put the icons below grab all three of these shift a I'm going to name this navigation. I'm going to grab the nav auto layout part and switch it to fill container. And grab this whole navigation section and switch the gap to zero. And then move it into the center. Grab the navigation again and move that to the center. All right, now everything's centered. Let's put some big text across the top. T on the keyboard. Then paste this. Same font. Press K for scale. I'm going to stretch this all the way out. I'm going to make this a purple color. And I'm going to drop the opacity down. Now, because this frame has a drop shadow on it, everything else is also getting a drop shadow. So I'm gonna move everything out of this frame. Make sure you close your navigation auto layout. We're gonna move these things out of our frame. So move them up out of the frame. So now they don't have any shadow. All right, I'm gonna go Command E. 
to turn this into a vectored object. I'll drop it down to 20. We want to be able to barely see it. And make sure it's underneath your shoe. Let's name this background. We'll name this shoe one. Okay, let's add some text on top of this now. I'm gonna lock this layer and this one so nothing moves. T for type. And then shoe, grab everything. Let's do it as public sans. As the font. We'll drop this down to 16. We'll zoom into this. Option drag. Put the name of the shoe in there. Let's change the font to Davis. K for scale. Let's scale it up. I want this to be pretty big. And then we'll line break it. You can also adjust the size on this until it looks right to you. I'm going to grab this option drag. Let's make the price. These are expensive, so they're going to be $160. Let's do this font for that. We'll scale it up. Price, the title, subtitle. Shift A to put it into an auto layout. I'm gonna grab my description off of the Nike site. I'm copying everything from Nike, so you can do the same thing. Just grab this piece here, copy it, go back over to Figma, put a text box, paste in our copy, Command A to grab it all. Let's make this public sans. Let's change the font to 16. And regular. I'm going to add this into the auto layout as well. Okay, let's make a sizing selector. So I'll grab this. Option drag out of the frame. We'll say select size. We'll change this to a regular font and to a lighter gray. Option drag down. Let's put US 8.5 will be the shoe size. Make this black and bold. I'm going to make this 22 or more than that, 30. We'll do shift A to put it into an auto layout. And I'm going to put a little arrow right next to it. So I'll go back to my plugin I come up. You could make one. I'm just going to do this because it's easier. This one's not as thick. Command E. Drag it down. Make sure the stroke weight is a little bit lighter. Rotate it. And then add it into our auto layout. Make sure our auto layout is aligned to the center. This is still looking a little bit big, so I'm going to zoom in. Scale down a little bit more. I'm going to change this to a lighter gray. And I want this space in between to be a little bit larger. And then I want the padding on the sides to also be more. So let's do 20. Let's add a fill. It can be white. To add some depth, let's add a shadow. Go to Effects, Drop Shadow. Let's make it purple again. And blur it out. I also want to round my corners. So let's grab it. Go up to the top here. Let's round the corners to five. And that looks about right. I'm going to line it up here. Option drag to copy. And I'm going to add an Add to Cart button. I'm going to change this to white. I'm going to change this button fill to black. And I'm going to delete the arrow. 
I'm gonna go up here and grab my cart. Copy, Command C. Come down here, into my button, Command V. Change this to white. Flip it to the other side. And then let's adjust those space in the middle of them. Also want this to be not so bold. Let's go medium. That looks good. I'm, I'm going to scale these down a little bit too. Grab all of this K for scale. Let's make it line up with our um, text box. So let's put these in an auto layout. Shift A. This as well. That all looks good. So I just added those all to auto layouts. So we have our text wrapper. And then our sizing chart. We can name rename these things on the layers panel. Let's say text wrapper. All right. That looks pretty good. All right, we've made it really far. Let's get to the fun prototyping part. All right, let's add a button right here because this is how we're gonna change from our different shoes. I forgot to put in the shoes. Let's put in the shoes. So we need to put three different variations of shoes here. So let's add those in. Go back to my shoes. Grab our three shoes that we have. Drag them in. By pressing command and dragging, I'm reshaping the boxes. Might have to reshape individually now. All right, that looks good. Auto layout, shift A. Gonna add some space in between them. Then we're gonna press K for scale and shrink them way down. I'm gonna name these shoes. Shoes. All right, and let's find a place to put them inside here. I can't believe I forgot them, but it is what it is. All right. So maybe I'll scale my buttons down a little bit. Scale these down. And then put them. right in between the text wrapper and the sizing chart. Then I can adjust the spacing in between. And that looks right. Can also adjust this spacing here and move this up. I'm gonna put a line underneath these so that when the shoes switch, the line moves back and forth. So I'm going to go shift command G or option command G. That'll put it into a frame. I'm going to command pull down. So we have space in there. We have our shoes here. I'll name the shoe one. Shoe two. And shoe three. Apparently I really want to go to a show. I'm going to add a line, so L on the keyboard for line. Drag out a line. Let's change the width to 4 and the corners to round. And let's make it a purple color. And that's going to indicate what shoe we're looking at. Alright, let's add a button up here so we can switch the shoes back and forth. So let's type in next style. I'm going to change this to public sans. I'm going to make it a medium and scale it down. I'm going to put an auto layout around it. Shift A. I'm going to add a fill of black. 
grab into the middle, make the font white. I'm going to round my corners, let's do 200. Add some spacing on the sides. Now let's add an arrow. So we can go up to our shape tools, shift L for arrow. Let's put one in here. Let's make it white. And then make sure our auto layout is aligned to the center. I'm gonna make this point, two points and drag this back down in. I'm gonna put a little bit of spacing in between these two. And then we're gonna give some more padding on the f top and bottom. All right, everything's looking good. I'm going to tighten everything up a little bit. So I'm gonna move this up, push it down. I want this to come down to give us a little bit of room. Move this down. All right, I'm gonna scale this down, okay. I'm gonna duplicate it, option drag, to this side. Delete this next style text. But before you do that, make sure that the height is set to fixed on both of them. I'm going to command to press the text and delete it. I'm going to click the arrow and press shift H to flip. I'll push this in, grab both of them, shift A for auto am. And I want to hide this button beneath this one. So let's make sure this button's underneath. So I'm going to say this one's left. We'll say this one's right. Seeing the switch. All right, now I'm going to adjust the auto layout. So this is hidden in behind. I'm going to grab my navigation and the button, press shift A, and it's going to align it to the middle. All right, now it's time to put on the super fun animation. Let's get to it. All right, we've got shoe number one. We need to duplicate shoe number one, so option drag down here. And we want to make shoe two, command D, and shoe three, command D. I'm going to put this at zero. This one at zero as well. I'm going to pull out these shoes, both of these, option drag. All right, let's look at the size of this frame, 476, copy that, and then put this here. I'm going to do the same thing with the next shoe. All right, let's place these on top. It didn't exactly give me the right size that I wanted, so I'm going to do this manually by pressing K and scaling them to the size. That looks good. I'm going to delete the shoe behind. And I'm going to tighten up its container. So now we have shoe 2. I'm going to take this and put it at 26 for rotation. Same thing with this, moving this into this frame here. And then scaling it up to where they look about the same in size and then deleting the shoe behind I'm going to tighten up the frame by pressing command and dragging all right i'm going to grab all of my shoes change them to 16 so there's not such a drastic angle I'm going to place them in my frame to see how I want them to show up. Let me add a little spacing at the bottom of this. Grab shoe 2, press K for scale. Drop it to 120. Move it to the top. I'm going to make sure my background is locked. And this is locked as well. I'll move this back down so it doesn't interfere with anything. I'm 
also going to put in shoe 3, drop it to 120, make sure it doesn't go into shoe 1. One, two, and three. Okay, that looks right. Let's add a circle now to make our animation seem seamless. So press O on your keyboard. Draw out a circle. And I do it as big as the frame. So drop it to the frame here. In the frame right here. Drop the opacity to 50. And then move it to the center of that line. So it's in the center of the shoe. That looks about right. I'm going to move shoe 1, 2, and 3 up and move the ellipse into desktop 1. Make sure desktop 1 has clip content off. I'm going to take shoe number three and move it to this side of the circle, making sure it's still inside. I'm going to duplicate the circle, Command-D, scale it up, Option-Shift, till all our shoes are inside. Then I'm going to grab these two ellipses and shoe 1, 2, and 3 and put them into a group. Command G. I'm going to zoom out, close all my layers, Option L. Press Command D to duplicate. Let's move this over. Grab the group. Rotate it. Negative 90 degrees. Turn off the circles. Grab shoe one, two, and three. Change the rotation to zero. So press K. It's 120. Let's make it back. This is at 711. Remember that. 120. We'll change this one to 711. Make sure these shoes are all hitting around the same spot. Some of them will need a little bit of tweaking, so you can look inside your circle. Make sure it's kind of on the center. Same as shoe two. Then we can delete it. Or turn off the visibility. What we also want to do is now that we're under shoe two, we're going to move the line over one. So using our X value, slide it over until it's underneath that shoe. We're also going to take our button and we're going to slide out the button underneath. So add some gap into the middle. So let's do 30. I'm also going to take off the text that says next style. Turn off visibility. So there's just two arrows. I'm going to do this again, so let's press Option L to close all our layers, Command D to duplicate Desktop 2, move it over, let's turn our circles back on, we're going to rotate it 180 degrees, negative 180, grab the shoes, 1, 2, and 3, change them to 0, Turn off your circles. Change this one to 120. K for scale. 120. Oops, make sure you're only grabbing one. Shoe number two. Change to 120. Shoe number three. Change to 711. Put my circle back on. Make sure it's about in the same spot.
turn the circle back off. I'm going to go through and click all of these. Shift click, turn on clip content. We also want to take the next button and make sure we can only go back, we can only go back to the left. So grab this and we'll push these together. But we want to make sure that the other one's on top. We also want this line to be underneath shoe number three. Once everything looks right, we'll move to prototyping. Make sure all your circles are off. All right, let's get to the prototype panel. We're gonna prototype this in a few different ways. So first we're gonna use this button, double click on it, and we're going to drag it to the next frame. Say so on click, navigate to smart animate, gentle, 2000 milliseconds. We're gonna grab this button Go back to the left. You might actually want to pull these in closer so you can see a little bit more. There we go. All right, grab this button, shift click. To this frame, it should keep your settings. Grab this button, shift, put it over here. Gentle. And then this button here, Draw your line back to that frame. All right, now we have our buttons set up for prototype. We also want to be able to click on the shoes and then go to where they need to go. Grab on shoe number two. And I can grab over here, shift command click to grab both of them at the same time. Grab the arrow and drag to the spring. Gentle at 2000. I'll grab this one, shoe number three. Shift command click, shoe number three over here. Move to this frame. And then the colorful shoe, shoe number one. Shift click to this frame over here. I also want a dragging effect. So if you drag the shoe up and down, you'll be able to changes the variation. So let's grab on shoe number one. Make sure it's on shoe one. And I want to be able to drag, so this over to this frame here. Let's go on drag. Smart animate gentle. 2000. Same with this. Shoe number two. on drag. Shoe number two is going to drag both directions. Shoe two. Because you're going to be able to drag it up and down. And then shoe three, when you drag it, should go back to shoe number two. Once you have all of these crazy looking lines, let's play the animation and see what we got. I think this looks super cool. If you guys have any more ideas on what you want to see or any other tutorials you can think of that might be fun, um, send them my way in the comments and I will definitely look into them. If you like this video, consider uh, following and subscribing. What is it? Subscribing? Uh, thanks guys. Thank you.